do fellas it's nice back here again with another quick inbox review and today we're going to take a look at edward's new well not new new but new tool uh fw190 afi light fighter in one to 48 flavor okay so i've built a one or two at uh, one night is uh, a tamiya one and a dragon one and when I always wanted to build a an Edward one, but the the old tool was uh, not very good around the gun bays and what have you, and the engine cowl and stuff like that. This kit looks at rectifying those issues. So what we'll do, we'll dive straight in, and I'll uh, we'll get cracking. Okay. So as normal with Edward, we get a lovely box. Okay. Uh, Decent strength with some nice markings on. All right, I'll be able to show you these better when we actually come to look at the instructions. All right, so we'll just pull that to one side. Uh, this kit cost me £23 from PM Models. All right, and we'll start off with the instructions. Same as normal for Edward kits, you get a nice glossy uh, uh, fold out booklet okay with some decent spiel on there about the actual aircraft moving straight on to a sprue map of all the sprues so we've got one two three four five six sprues plus a mass set and a photo et fret okay uh, color calls out obviously normal mr uh, mr color and aquarius and as well as obviously mr metal calls or your super metallic ones so as with most aircraft we start with the cockpit and obviously adding the the PE or the de decal parts for the instrument panels uh, on either side of the cockpit walls okay uh, another bit of a uh, like a map uh, map part okay uh, whatever you want to call it putting the control sticks and some other bits and pieces onto the actual uh, cockpit itself the instrument panels and you also you've got your different markings of what won't go in on where all right then on to the seat which the cushion is separate which i like because then you can paint the rest and just add the, sep uh, the separate cushion on top and then obviously with the pe seat belts and foot panels moving on to the sidewalls okay of the the cockpit and again some more of the instrument panel all right uh, the engine, uh, which you're not going to see a lot of it anyway, because it's got a massive fan right in front of it that keeps the air engine cool. Moving on to putting on the exhaust stacks. Uh, we'll have a take a look at those in a minute. Let's see whether the, the like the Spitfire ones or like the Tempest ones, whether they're hollowed out or not. Uh, then moving on to the wheel wells. Again, some more of the sidewall, sidewall detail. Uh, a really, really good detailed um, bulkhead for your uh, or wing spar should i say for the actual wings okay uh, putting the wheel wells actually in there separate parts so you get some really nice detail in there pity it's going to be underneath the aircraft so you can't see it moving on to the uh, cannons uh i don't know whether, what size they are they might be 20 millimeter cannons in the wing roots all right then on to the uh, machine guns that sit in the uh, the cowling uh, and the uh, the dashboard protector and then mating it all up to the actual wings themselves the control surfaces all going on and then the engine ring moving on to the wheels of the uh, aircraft and as we've all uh, 190s they are really really spiddly and what have you looks like the one piece tires which is good with just the inserts for the two different uh, different uh, ways round or different types wherever they are okay and then going on to the actual control doors tail wheel going on uh, I'm not too keen on this two part bit for the tail wheel because actually to clean that up is quite difficult and then adding the uh, the undercarriage Door control arms and uh, moving on so then we've got some of the aerials the steps uh, a peer tube and what have you and then we move on to the big big thick prop that uh, comes with these aircraft 
Okay, and the fan. Then we've got the open and closed canopy parts, which then go on. And then a picture of how it should all look once done so that you get the correct stance. And then onto closed canopy. And then we've got our wheel masks and canopy masks and windshield masks and what have you. And then moving on to the uh, bomb, which is markings E only, okay, which we'll, what we'll be looking at when we get to it. Uh, and then the, the bomb and the actual uh, bomb rack. And then we move on to the colour callouts. Now, these are some lovely colour callouts for this one. So we've got a, a, an aircraft from May 1943 in France. A lovely uh summer summer soviet union one with the the green and black a, a very not very often seen for a uh 190 or a german uh aircraft okay uh netherlands april 1943 again with a model and a really striking nose uh the black and white striped nose and then uh the Herman Graf's aircraft from France, 19, April 1943, with the 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 yellow and red tail and the cone, uh, the the oh the engine cowling, okay, with the re, with the big Z on there or whatever you want to call it, all right, and then we move on to one in Poland, uh, January 1943, and then we've got our stencil data, okay. So yeah, a really good booklet with plenty of detail in there. And then it comes with, in two plastic bags for the main parts, which we'll have a look at first. So really well packaged by Edward as always. Okay, we'll check them out. So starting off with the fuselage, we'll look on the internal part first. Now, I don't know whether that is gonna cause a problem uh, it's an injection pin mark. Uh, I'm hoping not, because uh, that's in theory where the the fuselage is gonna either sit above it like that or below it. I think it's above it, so we might be we might go away. Okay, and it's same on both sides, so it might be a problem, but it may not. Nice how they've got the recess part ready for if you want to fit a the radio in this. Same for the the engine where you can cut it all out. Now if we turn it over and then we can see what Edward are famous for. Okay, so look at all that fine rivet and recess detail. Okay. Now the Tamiya one, it goes together brilliantly. Uh, so, but it only has panel lines. It doesn't have any of this rivet detail. The Dragon one has some detail, but nowhere near the, the fit of Time here. So I'm hoping this goes together really well and we get to see all that lovely detail on there. Okay, so that's uh, the fuselage. And then we move on to the wings, lovely blisters. And then look at all that lovely, lovely detail on there. Okay. S some really cracking detail all over on this. Okay, it's really is fantastic okay uh, in the next sprue we've got another two plus our clear parts in the next bag so we'll take these out we'll have a look at them so we'll start with no three three screws should i say so some of the engine detail uh, the fans uh, the two different types of props the nose cone and what have you the instrument also devoid of any detail at the moment apart from the some of the rivet that detail at the back because you're going to be pouring either side panels on here or you're going to you be using pe parts we turn it over some lovely detail again in the wheel wells and obviously some lovely nice detail with the seat just in there okay some really nice detail on the uh, uh, undercarriage doors and on the actual main legs. So you've got the nice cushion parts or one we, we not. Okay, so they'll probably be the rubber gaiters 
on there, the other ones there. But overall, some lovely detail, okay? Uh, next, we move on to some of the control surfaces. So again, some really fine raised detail because these would all be fabric, I believe. Okay, so we'll be able to take them, sort them out, make them look really, make them really pop. Wheel doors, again, lovely recessed detail, and the uh, the gun part for the on the cowling, the some of the control surfaces are really really nice. All right, and if obviously the different types of cowling for different aircraft, <coughs> and then we've got some really nice detail on these um, drop tanks. Obviously, they're going to go together, but again, some really, really good detail. And even some lovely detail on the inside. I don't know if I can get that in the right light for you. There we are. Now, can you just see those rivet details? Okay, and along there. Some lovely detail for, um, for this scale. Okay. Uh, and then some of the smaller parts. So, we've got some of the... Uh, control surfaces so even with just the uh, the control panels without the p parts or anything like that some really nice detail on there looking at the some of the guns and yes look all of these guns are hollowed out okay that is absolutely fantastic all right again some lovely detail on the wheels and then we'll move on to the exhaust stack. So there, there they are over here. And yep, yeah, they've got some, not massively deep, okay? But again, you can still just see the detail in there that it's, you know, where it's, where it's been hauled out. So Edward, I've really gone to town on this. And if you just look at the, just look at the, the detail of the tail wheel. Okay, I don't know a manufacturer that goes to this much detail for this price. Remember, this kit was £23. Okay, so it's absolutely fantastic. First bit of flash, but that's not a major issue to deal with. Okay, so yeah, some lovely, lovely detail on there. Now we move on to the clear parts. Now, Edward, clear parts are some of the best clear parts I have ever come across so let's have a look and see what these are like so yeah again absolutely fantastic and what I love about these clear parts if you look you've got your clear part okay and then you've got your frosted bit so your paint takes better on that part okay because that's the part that's going to have paint on it so yeah absolutely fantastic some lovely detail okay on the and clear crystal clear the right shapes as well for this aircraft the two different types and to the the decals now these are probably cartographs so we shouldn't really have a problem with these but we'll have a quick look i'm all going to get the main ones out okay so oh. there we are yeah, really, really nice. Really, really thin. Absolutely fantastic work. Okay, so they're the main ones. And then last but not least is the... Photo Etch. Okay, which is Edward Photo Etch. It absolutely does what it says on the tin. Okay, it gives you some nice detail. And also the mass set. All right. So there we are, fellas. Uh, Edward's new tooled 148A9A190A5. It's an absolutely fantastic kit. Way they've hollowed out all all the weapons. Uh, way they've hollowed out the the uh, actual exhaust stacks and everything like that. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, this, yes, you can get a lot of extras for it. You can get engines and all that sort of stuff. But 
unless you're into super detailing your your build you've got more enough in the in the box to make this kit sing it, it really is a lovely lovely tooled kit okay just hope it does as well together as well as it, it looks okay so that's it for now and i'll see you on the next video bye